Hey church girls, you've asked for more devotionals, so you know I'm your girl. I come through for you. Yes, yes, yes. So we're going to be doing the book of Proverbs this month. I love the book of Proverbs. I love, love, love. I read a, ver a chapter every day. And so we're going to start at Proverbs chapter 10, but then I'm going to back up and do uh, chapters 1 to nine we'll catch up on that so the book of proverbs one of my favorite books grab yourself something hot i have coffee whatever you like and we're going to catch up on the book of proverbs welcome back to church girls want to get married too my name is Jean Hilton thompson and i just want to say thank you so much for enjoying my in christ i am devotional um i will link it below i did this devotional last month i think and you guys really enjoyed it huge support you that even helped me to get half of my watch hour that i needed so i really love you and i appreciate you for that so if you have not subscribed the church girls want to get married to please be sure to do so and remember to share subscribe invite a friend um, and just told them if we're going to do the book of proverbs so we're going to start at proverbs chapter 10 but then you know i'm going to back up and catch up proverbs 1 to um to 9 for you so you'll have the whole 31 chapters of Proverbs, and I have my thin line Bible, one of my favorite Bibles. This uh, chapter I'm going to read in the King James Version, and some of the other chapters I will just change the versions just based on what I want to pull out for you, okay? So we're going to read, then I'm going to pull out one verse, and then we're just going to talk about it and try to apply it to our lives, and especially to dating, okay? So Proverbs chapter 10, the Proverbs of Solomon. A wise son maketh a glad father, but a foolish son is the heaviness of his mother. And we know that Solomon is the author of Proverbs. Solomon uh, is the wisest man that has ever lived. Okay. And so he wrote uh, the book of Proverbs. Okay. So verse two, treasure, treasures of wickedness profit nothing, but righteousness delivereth from death. The Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. He becometh poor that dealeth with a slack hand, slack hand, but the hand of the diligent maketh rich. The hand of the diligent maketh rich. Okay, don't give up, keep on going. And uh, you will get there. He that gathereth in the summer, plan, 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 Gathereth in the summer is a wise son, but he that sleepeth in harvest is a son that causeth shame. That's powerful, ain't it? Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. The memory of the just is blessed, but the name of the wicked shall rot. Verse 8. The wise in heart will receive commandments, but a prancing fool shall fall. And I always say, a proverb a day will keep foolishness away. Okay, proverb a day will keep fools and foolishness away. That's why you need to read one a day. You see that? The wise in heart shall receive commandments, but a prancing fool shall fall. He that walketh uprightly walketh surely, but he that perverted his way shall be known. Perverted his way, me twisted, crooked, shall be known. Isn't that powerful? That's powerful, isn't it? Amen. He that winketh with the eye causeth sorrow, but a prancing fool shall fall. There we go again, talk about fool. Proverbs that they will keep fools and foolishness away. The mouth of the righteous. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. You will have what you say. The mouth of the righteous of a righteous man is a well of life, but violence covereth the mouth of the wicked. Hatred stirs up strife, but love covereth all sins. In the lips of him that has understanding, wisdom is found, but a rod is for the back of him that is void of understanding. I will link my other video below I did on wisdom is not fear. How we need to use wisdom from Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 7. Wisdom is the principal thing, and in all you're getting, get understanding. I'm going to link that below, okay? 
All right, verse 13 again. In the lips of him that hath understanding, wisdom is found, but a fool is a writer from the back of a friend, to, a back of him that is void of understanding. Wise men, wise men lay up knowledge, but the mouth of the foolish is near destruction. Okay, the rich man's wealth is his strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. That's why. Don't marry no broke man. I'm not saying he got to be like a multi-millionaire rich, but he needs to be able to provide for you, girl. Okay? Let me read that again. The rich man's wealth is his strong city. Strong city. The destruction of the poor is their poverty. Okay, there you go. I have it right here. The labor of the righteous tendeth to life, the fruit of the wicked to sin. It's my thin line Bible. I love this Bible. Mike Murdoch, thin line wisdom Bible. He is in the way, verse 17, he is in the way of life that keepeth instruction, but he that refuseth reproof arroweth, okay? He that hideth hatred with lying lips, and he that uttereth a slander is a fool. Wisdom of day, keep fools and foolishness away. In the multitude of words, there wanteth not sin. He that refreneth his lips is wise. Maybe I'll talk about that one. The tongue of the just is as choice silver. The heart of the wicked is little worth. The lips of the righteous feed many, but fools die for want of wisdom. The blessings of the Lord, it makes rich and add no sorrow to it. There we go right there. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and add no sorrow to it. That's why I love Proverbs. There's a whole lot of wisdom in here. The blessing of the Lord maketh rich and add no sorrow to it. Verse 23, it is a sport to a fool to do mischief. But a man of understanding has wisdom. That's powerful. It is a sport. Fools. Fools think it's funny and it's game and it's a sport to do mischief, to do bad things. But a man of understanding has wisdom. Choose a man of understanding, ladies, not a man of fool, not a foolish man, okay? Not a fool. Husband is a choice. Choose wisely. The fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. That's why we should not be fearful because it says the fear of the wicked, it shall come upon him, but the desire of the righteous shall be granted. God said he will give you the desires of your heart. Should I write that one down? As the world wind past, as so is the wicked no more, but the righteous is an everlasting foundation, excuse me. As vinegar to teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him. <laughs> Let me read that again. As vinegar, vinegar to teeth and as smoke to the eyes, so is the slugger to them that send him. The fear of the Lord prolong days. Ooh, the fear of the Lord prolongeth days, but the years of the wicked shall be shortened. The hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. The righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inhabit the earth. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut off. Hi, honey. Let's read, let's read. The mouth of the wicked, the mouth of the just shall bring forth wisdom, but the forward tongue of shall be cut off. The lips of the righteous I know, take okay, know, know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked Speak it forward. Okay, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speak it righteous. So, 
I'm going to pull out verse 19. It says, in the multitude of words, there is there wanteth not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. And so ladies, in our dating, one of the things we do as women, we talk a lot. We talk too much. We meet a man. We tell him everything. He know everything about us. One lady said, met a guy, I met a guy and I told him, I don't know if I should give him my phone number because the last guy I gave my phone number, he didn't call me and I was disappointed. Why you need to tell him that? Why is it that the man you just met now needs to bear the burden and the responsibility for what the other man didn't do? So ladies, learn to put a bridle on your tongue. Don't talk too much. Get the information from him. Get all the data you need from him to make an informed decision. But don't go run in your mouth. You don't, he don't need to know all your business. He don't need to know everything you have. You don't need to stay on the phone. I'm going to do that one. You don't need to stay on the phone all night talking, 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 talking. You meet a man, talk to him no more than 10 or 15 minutes. Because what you're doing, you're creating a desire in him for him to want to talk to you. You stay on the phone six hours talking to him and then mad tomorrow or next week that he's not calling you. What is he calling you for? He got everything he wanted. He already got all the data and he don't need anything from you. So like verse 19 said, in the multitude of words, there wants to not sin, but he that refraineth his lips is wise. Talk less, listen more, because you need data to make an informed decision. All right. If you have not subscribed, please be sure to do so. Please share. Please invite a friend and come back tomorrow. We're going to do Proverbs chapter 11. I love you. Gaga. Bye. Michael, I'm going to say bye. Bye. I'm going to paint now. I can paint now. <laughs> bye. I want to say. What you say? What you want to say? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Lord. Okay. All right. Let's make another video for your song.